When you first start up FLAC 2D, a notification screen provides you with updates about any changes to the software, tips for new users, and a link to request technical support. You can customize this screen now, or later under Options. You can open your last project or any other recent projects, start a new project, open an older project, or proceed without defining a project. The user interface, for version 9, of Itasca software, has been redesigned to streamline your workflow, efficiently handle hundreds of plots, and provide a common workspace. The content selector is the heart of the new user interface, or UI. Select and modify existing, or create new, data files, plots, or sketch sets. Sketch sets are used to create and mesh the model using drawing tools or imported CAD files. Interactively modify model properties and constitutive models, define groups, work with structural elements, and more via the model pane. This workspace may be split into a series of tiles, with flexible content. The program is divided into several main sections. The title bar. The main menu. The project panel. The workspace, including contextual controls, that change depending on what is active in the tile. And the help panel. Click on the browser icon. To open the help documentation in your default web browser, for more comprehensive viewing. The command area, the status bar, and the layout toggles, which let you hide or show parts of the program, which are otherwise fixed in place. Let's open a project and explore the program further. Under the help menu, you will find FLAC 2D examples. Under the FLAC section, open the example application, Embankment Load. You will notice that the title bar now displays the project file name, and, in the project panel we see a set of data files, plots, and models saved states. This FLAC 2D project is a collection of all of these files, and model results, which have been prepared as an example. Active files in the project panel are bolded. Saved state file icons that display a diagonal cut indicate that the saved files are missing. By rerunning the model, these files will be regenerated. Right click on any content in the project panel, and you will see additional actions for that content, such as renaming it, removing it from the project, deleting it, or viewing the file location via Windows Explorer. To view any content in the active tile, either choose it from the content selector menu or double-click on it in the project panel. Click on the content selector menu, and choose the file, master.dat. Most examples include this file, which is used to call other data files systematically. In this way, a single data file can be set up to run any other files, to run the simulation in the proper order. Any active data file may be run by clicking on the green execute arrow beside the content selector. This master file will call, or run, the embankment load data, and check data files. These files could also be run separately by making them active, and clicking the green execute icon. If you click the execute icon, you will see model cycling information in the command console. This provides information about the model as it cycles to the specified solution criteria. A red stop sign icon also appears in the main menu. Click this to interrupt the model and stop it from running. Once the model finishes running, note that the saved state file icons are whole. Using the content selector, choose the embankment loading data file. These are all the commands that were issued to build and run the model. Now, 
Split the workspace to create a new tile, to the right. Use the content selector menu, to display the Z displacement plot. Split this tile below, and display the pore pressure in this new tile. You can save a model state at any point as you build and run your model, saving the state record, or work path, and any results. You can restore a model state from any saved file and continue modifying or running the model from that point. For example, by double-clicking on the previous model state, undrained, the model results shown in the plots change. Models may have many saved states. To capture important model creation steps, represent actual construction stages, or, in parallel, to explore different material properties, conditions, or engineering designs. To make a new model plot, click the content selector menu in the Z Displacements plot tile. Select New, and then Plot. Name the plot, My Plot. The tile now displays an empty plot. Note that the previous plot still exists. Close the lower plot using its close icon, and then use the slider tool, between the plot tile and the data file editor, to make the plot wider. Plots are made up of a series of plot items. These are found in the control panel on the right-hand side of the UI. Use the drop-down arrow for common plot items, or click the plus icon to see a complete list. Since we're not working with PFC in this FLAC model, uncheck it from the options to see only FLAC plot items. Plot items are organized by categories. Select one plot item by clicking it, or multiple plot items by holding the shift key and clicking them. Try selecting zone, vectors, and boundary in the zone category, then click OK. Close the view shift tools to see the plot items better. Tools can be hidden or shown using the tools control selection icon. Each plot item can be hidden or shown independently using the open, close icon. Attributes for each plot item are shown below. By default, the zones are displayed by group names. Other labels include state, properties, and constitutive model. To display contours instead, change the color by option to contour. Displacement is active by default. Other values include various stresses, strain, velocity, fluid head, and more. The order of the plot items indicates how they are layered in the plot. For example, click and drag the zone displacement plot item above the zone velocity vectors plot item. Now these appear on top of the contours. Many attributes can be adjusted. Once you have a desired plot, you can export it as an image file. You can also save the plot as a data file that contains all of the commands used to generate it. This can be useful to automatically produce or customize plots and export them. To save the current layout and any new plots, make sure to save the project. Finally. If you need help, contextual help, F1, or the question mark icon in a tile, panel, or pane, will direct you to the most relevant section of the documentation. For help learning and writing commands, the inline help, control button plus spacebar, is available while either the data file text editor, or command console, is active. Inline help allows you to quickly reference keywords associated with a command. Or to be able to query the syntax of fish functions. And, should you need it, you can always request technical support via the help menu. To save your changes, including the current layout, and any new plots, make sure to save the project. This concludes this overview tutorial of the new Itasca software UI.